Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to go over what I think each um Cedar Fair um park's next coast will be, where will it be, and like within the park, and when would we see that um coaster open? We're gonna start off with the parks that I think are far off from another coaster, then gradually move up to the ones that I think are gonna be like next year or the year after next. We'll start with um California's Great America, as we all know, um. This park is closing. Um, maybe there's a slight chance it could be saved, but um, it probably won't be. And that's why I don't think another coaster will come in this park. Maybe a couple flat rides, but not a new coaster. Michigan's Adventure. This is the forgotten child of the Cedar Fair chain. It's far out of the way, and honestly, I'm shocked it hasn't been sold already. Because of the um, re remoteness of the park... They haven't gotten a single major non-relocated, let me make sure I put that in there, investment since before Cedar Fair bought the park. Because of this, I don't see any major coaster coming into the park in the, in the near future, or at all. Because of this, the next, co next coaster at uh, Michigan's Adventure will open in 2031, because that's really far off, and I just really don't think I ever really see a coaster there, but I'm putting one in. And I think it's going to be an SNS free spin. I think an SNS free spin would be a great fit for this park because you don't need to worry about the capacity of, of the ride for this specific park. But also, it would give the park a perfect gimmick coaster to advertise like, come ride, like the, the all new 4D free spin coaster. It spins while going like that. It's it's just a really gimmicky coaster, and it could really work for this park to hopefully get some more attendance into the park. Um, but we don't really know. And for where I'm the park, um, I see it being located between uh, like in the dead space between um Wolverine Cat and Wild Mouse to complete the park loop. Um, because because of that, I do think the next coaster will be an S and S free spin. Um, it's just the perfect fit for the park. Worlds of Fun. This park just got Sam PC Zinger, like, this year, making them not very high on the list for a new coaster. Not to mention, it has been 14 years between their last, um, newest coasters. Because of this, I don't see a coaster coming to this park until at least 2028. You could say Cedar Fair, was, Cedar Fair is building up for the 2026 World Cup, but the event is split between multiple cities in the, U in the US, Canada, and Mexico. So, it, it, that's a really unlikely scenario. Um, but there, there is one major gap in the um, lineup of Worlds of Fun, and that is a launch coaster. The question is, if World of, Worlds of Fun um, will get a thrilling launch coaster or a family launch. Personally, I think for 2028, um, Worlds of Fun will be getting a mock launch coaster. I think, think this because the park is missing... Inversions. The park only has two inverting coasters, one of them being a boomerang. For the loco location of the coaster, I, um, it will be located behind the Wind Seeker between Timberwolf and Patriot. The, the, re the reason why I think this is a perfect location for this coaster is because it's right next to the, um, four, the 435 um, freeway. Um, and that does a, like, a massive loop be be around Kansas City. And that a mocked launch coaster, especially one that's inverting, kind of tall and stuff like that, possibly ones like that's going to be going like at Epic Universe, something similar to that, would make a perfect, just like, oh, there's the park. Oh my gosh, look at that coaster. I got to go get off and ride that. Kings Island. This is one of the premier parks in the chain. And Cedar Fair isn't scared to let that show. The only reason why I have this um, park so high on the list is the fact that I really think the next two years is fully booked for coasters. They normally do two or three coasters a year. And um, we don't have much information coming out of this park. There isn't really anything missing in the lineup of this park, honestly. And anything you add will be supplemental. Um, the real question is, what plot does this um, next coaster go in? Is it the old Vortex pot or the old Son of Beast pot? Personally... I think it's going to be in the Sun and Beast plot, just because that plot has been emptier longer. And for what, why not a Sun and Beast replacement? 
I think for the year 2026, Cedar Fair will call on RMC for a ground-up RMC hybrid. I really think this could happen because RMC has really proven its craft with co coasters such as Iron Gwazi, Iron, um, Airy Force One, Zadra, and um, Wildcats Revenge, which were all basically ground up. Because besides Gwazi and um, Wild Wildcats Revenge, most of them were like completely like those two were had like cat, completely different layouts and structures and stuff like that. Um, plus, this would be a great marketing campaign that. The Son of Beast is back and looking to prov prove that it's worthy to be the Son of Beast. And this could get a lot of um, people interested in the park. Carowinds. I also see Carowinds getting a coaster in 2026 because I don't think a new coast there's a new coaster for the next two years. Um, and it doesn't that really doesn't fit in the timeline of the park or the um, like entire company. Um, and also. Like I said, I see the next two years fully booked. I don't think anything is going to be changing. But, um, um, anything at this park will also be supplemental, like I said, for Kings, Kings Island. There isn't really anything missing. Um, and there isn't much land available to the park that they haven't, that they've already developed. And basically they only have the, um, old Din Dinos Alive section and, um, one other coaster that I think is going to be the, um, one that's going to go. In 2026, I see, once again, Cedar Fair calling RMC for the, an overhaul of Hurler. We have already seen, um, Hurler at King's Dominion, or, like, being converted into Twisted Timbers. And by this time, it's going to be about 10 years since they've done that. And I really think they could do something much more, like, so, much better than they did before. Even though that ride is just so good, I can just tell without even riding on it. No, but, like, that's a really good ride. And they can do so much more. And it doesn't require Cedar Fair to, like, tear down a new ride. And, honestly, this is, like, one of the worst coasters in the park so they can get rid of one of those and it also leaves room for more investments and more reasonable investments in the future. Knott's Berry Farm. As a park local, I really see a big wave of investment going to um, Knott's over the next few years. For multiple reasons, unlike Kansas City, Los Angeles isn't just getting the 2026 World Cup, they're also getting the 2028 Olympics in full. Um, because of this, both Cedar Fair and Six Flags should really start pumping money into their LA parks. If Six Flags would do it, I don't know. I can start seeing this wave of investment starting in 2025 with a small kiddie coaster. This is because a few days ago, we heard that the park removed their Bradley and Kay kiddie coaster and also a school bus flat ride. Um, that was kind of in, it's in the, like, right next to, um, this coaster. This book. This space is quite small, but something tells me there's going to be a bigger kitty coaster there just because of the fact that they got rid of the bus ride and that could be where the queue goes. And because of that, um, I ex like I expect a Skyline Paschetti Bull coaster to be the next coaster added to this park. The reason why I didn't go with something major is because I think this is going to be the start of the wave, but also the reason why I went with a Paschetti, Paschetti Bull coaster I'm stuttering on the thing that's supposed to be stuttered on. Wow, I'm uh, I'm great great at talking. Um, but um, the reason why I see it's gonna be Skyline is because I just think Skyline's gonna be on top of the kitty market, and I don't think anyone's gonna really get into it. But also, it's just such a there's they look really like really good rides, and they look like they're gonna be like the next like hit thing for kitty coasters, especially Canada's Wonderland. A few days ago, the park sent out a poll to ask guests what coaster they'd like to see next. They gave three options, a B&M wing coaster, another B&M wing coaster, and a GCI spiral coaster. First of all, we have to talk about these, these investments, when these investments would come. Personally, I think 2025, because it's too late to be sending out these questionnaires for something that's going to come out next year. It's just too late. But... Just in rage for when you would start making plans for 2025. The second question we have to ask is, which of these coasters will, like, win the poll? And, for me, it's obvious. And I think everyone else kind of can tell what's ob it's obvious. It's going to be the GCI um, Spiral Coaster. Just because they presented it 
like they wanted it to win. This, like, they presented it as this entire ghost town area. And, like, this, like, all this, like, new area and stuff. This new area that's gonna, like, make this park look so much nicer and stuff like that. And then the R2 coasters were building the coaster out of the mountain. Huh. I wonder where that one came from. Um, definitely not King's Dominion. Um, and the other one was a rock and roll themed coaster, which personally I would want the most, especially because it's from Cana- it's gonna have Canadian bands in the um sound system. And I'm a big fan of Rush, a Canadian band. But also, when they presented it, it looks like a coaster coming out of a stage. It doesn't look that good, honestly. And it's obviously that they had bias while making this poll. Also, this would make so much sense for the park. The park needs a good wooden coaster. The two other wooden coasters, I think it's two, that the park has suck. They absolutely suck. And with a new GCI spiral coaster, they could save on room and have a really good wooden coaster that the entire family's going to like. Valley Fair. We have been seeing some teasing for the past few years on the new coasters that's going to be coming to the park. But I think we're going to have to wait till 2025 to see what this coaster is and for it to open. Um, the real question is what it will be. The busy- biggest gap in Valley Fair's lineup is an inver- inverted coaster. While they do have Steel Phantom, it's not a traditional inverted coaster. The, the question is if Cedar Fair is going to spend the money on an inverted coaster from B&M or go with a smaller scale invert from another manufacturer. Although I can see, although this is one of the smaller parks in the chain, I can see I see Valley, Bear, Valley Fair getting a B&M invert coaster like Monster at Grona Land or Osiris at Park House Street. I say this because I believe the land u- going to be used for this new coaster is the former um, Dinos Alive area, um, which is more of an out and back um, like zone, and um, they're going to have to conform to that. And I say Grona Land because it's that's like definition of a compact coaster but Osiris because that is a that's more out and back I think it's gonna be a in between those but it, another reason why I think this is a really good coaster for the park is because um Nickelodeon Universe doesn't have this they don't have a inverted coaster and that and this could um really fill the gap for people in Minnesota and make people really choose Valley Fair over um Nickelodeon Universe if they're Wallace they already choose Valley Fair first Cedar Point Come on, we all knew Cedarport was getting a quote unquote new coaster in 2024. It's a refurb of Top Throat Dragster. The real question is if Zamperla, yes, Zamperla, is really adding that spike. And the verdict is yes. Zamperla will be adding the spike to um, a spike to um, Top Throat Dragster. There isn't much to say about Top Throat Dragster besides it's going to have a spike. So hopefully I'm not wrong. Dorney Park. This is the NAR park we, where we already have plans leaked. In 2024, as long as everything goes according to plan and there aren't any delays, we'll see a b and mini dive at Dorney Park. I'm going to go into this coaster a little bit more than any of the other ones because I really think this is a good investment for Dorney. Um, because it keeps parks like Hershey and um, Six Flags... Um, great adventure from beating you to the punch to a dive coaster of something much bigger which they're able to do and it gives Dorney Park this it just gives them like a niche thing it's like we have a dive coaster no one else around us has a dive coaster unless you want to go to New York but no one wants to get stabbed <laughs> um I, I'm hearing all my New Yorker fans of one person click off this video now um no but <laughs> Um, I think this could really be the start of a wave of investments for Dorney Park because I think um, Cedar Fair is going to really want to start um, digging into the um, Philadelphia market. And I think this can really um, start that um, trend, I guess. King's Dominion. This is my long shot for a coaster that's coming in 2024, but I think it's possible. We have seen trailers starting moving, starting to conjugate near the volcano plot of land. And... With BG t- BGW um, taking a year off, I can really see um, 2024 being um, the year that we finally get the big, the big vulcano, volcano, volcano replacement. Um, the real question is what? 
Personally, I think it would be a BM launched wing coaster. I was really debating between this or the surf coaster, but I went with wing coaster because I think Cedarfair could really fit this into the um, jungle expedition area. While the BM surf coasters may have difficulties with the theme, I think a, a wing coaster gives some type of reference to Volcano the Blast while not being seated on, like, under the track. Um, they're on the side of the track. Um, and I think this, a wing coaster would be, a launched wing coaster would be really good because it has pretty good capacity and the GP like these coasters, basically anything for being and G the GP like. And, um, BGW doesn't have this, so that's a win. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, it really helps, um, because I like subscribers. Um, if you guys want to see me do a Six Flags video, um, I'll probably do one, but hit the like button or so comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye.